Hello everybody, Flash Notion here, back for another reaction to My Hero Academia Season 6. And this time it is Episode 5, and shit is about to go down. <laughs> Shigaraki is awake. That means that the villains are going to get organized. Giganto Machia is going to be set loose. Um, we still have multiple high-end Nomu to deal with, and things are not looking good for those guys because Mirko is pretty, pretty fucked up at the moment, and Endeavor is distracted, and they have a very smart Nomu that is figuring out uh, all the weaknesses. So, yeah, yeah, things are not looking great. Uh, Deku is not present, so he can't act as backup yet. And same can be said about all the other top fighters among the students. Uh, most of them are not there. Oh, and uh, Hawks is on death's door. I kind of forgot about that uh, for a second. Dobby is about to finish him off, and that's where we left him, and we have no idea what actually happened. So, uh, yeah, let's, why don't we, uh, hope to find out in this episode? Yeah, yeah, let's, let, let's, let's just get started. Let's, 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 let's just watch it. Watch the episode. Yeah, why not? So, <laughs> we shall get started in three Two, one, play. Okay. <laughs> that was intense. Um... So, I mean, what, is, what even is there to say, like, yeah, Shigaraki did pretty much exactly what I thought he would did, minus the whole, uh, the whole stealing powers bit. We didn't see him do that yet. Um, But then he also did something unexpected in terms of the uh, the quirk erasing bullets. I didn't even uh, I didn't even realize that was going to be a thing again. Like I mean, I should have, but I didn't. And uh, apparently, the doctor made more, which actually makes a fair amount of sense. Uh, if he can duplicate quirk factors, then it wouldn't matter if they don't have airy. They as long as they have the original bullets, then yeah, they can make more. Um, hmm. That's what the thing on his hand is for! It is a gun! But it's meant for the quirk bullets. Fuck. At least, that's my theory right now. But, like, that makes sense to me. And if that's truly what's going on there, then Jesus Christ, that's that's dangerous. <sighs> oh boy. Um. Oh wow. Okay, so we don't have to deal with the high end Nomu anymore. They're all disintegrated. It looked like all of the all of the heroes that we cared about got out of there. Um. Crust seemed to have been the only one that died, and frankly, I did not give a shit about him. He just did not interest me at the slightest. I am gonna look look. Uh, I'm actually gonna look something up right now, cause like, yeah, that's uh. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that was Paul Eiding's voice. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I mean, yeah, he's he's well known for Ben 10 as Grandpa Max. Has he been in anything else here? Like, doesn't say he's, doesn't seem like he does any anime stuff, but like, 
If not, like that, that voice was just such a close thing, like. Hmm. Uh, looks like he has done a couple of anime things, but not as anything major. So I guess it is possible. Like it, it sounded so like him, though. All right. Um. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Uh. Oh no, my model's glitching. Oh, no. What the fuck? Why is it glitching? Okay, okay, there we go. What the hell was that? <laughs> it looked like I broke my fucking neck. Okay, um... Right, so aside... Aside from the shit that just went down it, at the hospital... Uh... Tokoyami was able to get, uh... 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 Right. Hawks away from there. And, uh... He... Yeah... They're both alive for right now, it seems like. Um, although that does mean that Fatgum is headed back towards the compound for not really anything at this point. Um, there's the question of if Hawks is ever going to be able to work as a hero again, but we'll get to that when we get to it. I mean, for fuck's sake, if Aerie masters her power, literally any hero who gets injured is, you know... Fair game. I mean, hell, she's also basically a walking fountain of youth, so... You know... Possibilities are endless. <laughs> um... But, yeah, uh... So... Oh, goodness, I, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, that actually... That actually was kind of exhausting to watch because of how intense it was. Um... Yeah, I got really worried that uh, that one of the students was actually going to get caught in the, the destruction wave. Um, and we were going to be treated to the sight of Deku reaching out to save them and not making it. That would have been fucked up, but thank, thank goodness that didn't actually happen, <laughs> um, is all I got to say to that. Uh... And then, uh, yeah, just yeah, everything else, uh, pretty straightforward there, I, I, I'd say. Um, yeah, we actually got, got a little bit too much recap, I think, at the beginning of the episode, because not, not a whole lot else happened other than that. Um, but yeah, it, did, it looked like they managed to get at least most of the civilians out of there, so that's good, uh. Jeez, though, I just... Oh, I am super freaking, uh... I feel like I need to do some yoga or something, because my freaking... Everything's tight right now. Everything's all tensed up. Oh. Yeah, no, I... I I'm, a, I'm a little bit at a loss, because, like, it's... It's just so much of that was spent on the the sheer destruction that Shigaraki caused, but like we didn't have a lot of casualties, so uh, at least not shown. Next episode, who who knows? Out of curiosity, actually, how far ahead is the sub? Uh, that was the wrong button. Uh, okay, there we go. So the the dub is only on episode five, obviously. What about the sub? Uh, go down here, I guess. Uh, would it be under... Be under B for Boku no Hero Academia? Yes. Okay. Only two episodes ahead. Okay, that's not actually not bad, but a lot can happen in two episodes. It felt like a lot happened in this one, but, I, uh, you know, upon actually reviewing it, not, not so much. Like, yeah. Not so much. Or maybe I was thinking of the last episode. I don't fucking know. Either way, um... Yeah. You know, fantastic episode, obviously. And seriously well done, especially with the music. The music in this episode was fantastic. We got 
snippets that we have not heard since, yeah, All Might versus All for One. The, uh, that one that has, like, the chorus that keeps building, um, like, we last heard that when, uh, during that fight, I think, and I'm pretty sure it was last heard during that fight, when, when, uh, all the heroes were coming to All Might's rescue, um, well, I say rescue. They were coming to ensure that the area was evacuated. But, um, yeah, that's the last time I can remember hearing that particular piece of music. And, of course, we then got the track known as The Power of All for One, which is just... Uh, I love that music, I really do, but also just, like, the implications there are just kind of... Kind of creepy, because um, it very much does imply that all for one literally lives through his quirk and is going to to take over Shigaraki, essentially. Um, which, if that happens, if that can happen, like that is terrible and terrifying. Um. Yeah, come to think of it, was it the start of this episode or the end of the last episode that I'm thinking of with that scene? Uh, I think it was the end of last episode, now that I think about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. The scene of Shigaraki in the void there, talking to his family members, the whole, do you still want to be a hero thing? Like, that is the question, and right now it certainly seems like, uh, no is the answer. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if there's any way to, uh, to talk Shigaraki out of this at this point. I think, that, I think that ship has sailed. But maybe? I don't know. That would be... Uh, I mean, they brought that idea back up for a reason. Um, and it's for one of... Two reasons, possibly. They are they were either planting the seeds in our head of like, oh yeah, he can be talked down, or they were pointing out that, yeah, no, no, he's fucking way too far gone at this point. Um, one or the other, and I have no idea which. <sighs> this show. This fucking show. <sighs> yeah. Um, so... I guess that's about it. I get, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, oh, actually, wait, no, there was one more thing we planned the seeds of in this episode, and that was uh, that was the possibility of Tokoyami, his spirit being broken. Um, yeah, we we kind of planted the seeds for that as well, with Dobby like pointing out that, yeah, Hawks was pretty fucking ruthless right there. Like, I mean, yeah, he had his reasons. I don't necessarily know if they were good reasons. Um, but, like, you know, if Twice were allowed to allowed to duplicate and do his thing, then eventually the, uh, the heroes would be overwhelmed by it. Um, but, like, there's also the, the the question of, like, was was Twice damaged enough at that point that killing him wasn't necessary and maybe, maybe Hawks should have focused on Dobby instead? Like, it, it is a question that bears, you know, considering... And that doesn't even get into the possibility of him actually having killed Best Genist, which I've been avoiding that a little bit because I desperately don't want to believe that he did, and I don't want Best Genist to be dead. Um, but it's not entirely out of the question. He might have done it, and if he did that, then uh, I, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to tell you. Like that's that's not great. Um, and yeah, Tokoyami, like, 
you know, he says, I'm sure whatever your actions were, they were justified, but like, there is a line that you, you have to draw a line there of like, do the ends justify the means? And, you know, beyond a certain point, yet you can't, you can't say that they were justified. And yeah, I, I have to wonder, like, are we heading towards the idea of Tokoyami giving up of his spirit being broken? Like, I don't want that. Certainly not. But it does feel like a distinct possibility because, well, simply because Dark Shadow is so powerful. Like, it has its limits, certainly, but as a quirk, Tokoyami is one of the strongest heroes out there right now. We, like, we even we even had Fatgum say, like, yeah, the, nobody's ever really broken out of his fat like that before. And Tokoyami just did it. So, like, with that kind of power, like, it, it's one of those things where, like, you gotta leave room in the story for your main heroes to do things. And, you know, someone like Tokoyami might actually overshadow them too much if he sticks around. So this would be a way to write him out of the story. Um, you know, I don't necessarily agree that they should do that, but they could definitely do that. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. So... Okay, now I think that's everything. Um... So yeah, yeah, hell of an episode, but that's going to be it for this week. Uh, finally reached the end, um, but yeah, until next time, bye-bye.